Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, uh, actually, hang on, let's see what this is. No, all right. uh, welcome back to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Picking up where we left off on Havaro, okay. we're gonna go down okay. to the uh, to the crash site that's being guarded by the Remnant to uh, recover the, the artifact, which I do believe is a helmet. Um, now, you may notice, when, or may have noticed when you clicked on this, that this video is only about a half hour long. And uh, that's because I only have one day off this week, or one night off this week. Um, so, because I only have one night instead of two, my videos are going to be a half hour instead of an hour. Uh, just so that I can make sure that I get them all recorded tonight and get them all edited and that in time. Which shouldn't be that big of a problem. In fact, because they're a half hour, they're going to render like way faster. Because like that's the main thing. Kieran that slows Dahl me said down. something about fish and gems to me. What was that all about? In an ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. Meaning, your success with Remnant is probability, not skill. As the number of cases approaches infinity, the unlikeliest outcomes become likely. Oh. Thought it might have been something like that. I mean, that's a that's a phrase that I heard outside of this game. That's much fighting that we're gonna ignore. Uh, so yeah, like we have two quests right now, basically, which are here they come. Oh, oh. Oh, well, they got that guy, though. Let's grab that. Ow, 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 ow. Man, I kind of wish I knew where the fuck... Oh, there's one. I mean, if I can see them, I can take them out, but... And those are just bugs that I'm seeing on my radar as enemies. I'm just going to assume that these guys took out the dudes that were over here. Yeah, looks like it. Like I said, this planet, uh, it's probably my favorite looking planet. It's like running through like the weird forest and everything with all the animals and that. It's probably my favorite one, but it's a, it's a little bit of a pain, not going to lie. All right. But yeah, I decided to do this one instead of the other one because I mean, I guess technically we don't even have that quest yet. If we would have talked to them, they may have actually picked it up. What do you think this was for? Some kind of aqueduct? Maybe. Stay alert. We don't know what's down there. We've scanned this area. These structures go deep below the ground. Um, but yeah, like so far, like on our mini map right now, we have this quest and we have a memory trigger. But like I said before, the memory trigger is a. Uh, Must be missing something. Guess we'll try again later. Yeah, so that's just an, an area that we can't reach yet. Um, but like I said, where the memory trigger is, I do believe, is where some of the survivors of the Turian Ark are. Uh, so I figured we'd do this one first since we have PB with us. And then we grab Vetra, uh, switch her out for Vetra, and go and do that. And then we'll have to chat up some of the scientists and that that we just rescued. Automated protocols activated. Um, Deploying forward station. To pick up a few more quests for this, including the one to, uh... Oh. Uh... Right. Including the one to fix the, um... The whatchamacallit. Ah, oh, here we are. This'll make it so I can get back up. That support will help. But yeah, including the one to fix the vault on this planet. Which we'll probably get PV back for. Okay. 
tank. Keep my eye out. Unfortunately, all like these little bugs <clears throat> automatically show up as red blips. That's, uh, that's some remnant research right there. Under new tanks. Now I got the cryopod upgrade. Uh, that should be fine. It kind of seems mean to just like pop the bugs when they're not doing anything, but. Uh, okay, there's its head. And it went that way. Looks like it engaged with the remnant. This must be the crash site Avela mentioned. Oh, all right. Who the fuck is attacking me? They should be fucking fighting that thing. We shouldn't have even been. Oh, I got. Oh no! Oh shit! I got because of my scope. I got stuck. Hang on. Something to get free eventually, maybe. Yeah, lock. Damn it, I may have to. Shit. Yeah, that's um never had that happen before. And unfortunately it looks like I'm stuck in a falling animation as well. Which means I can't fast travel. Or it could be that I'm still considered in combat. Move a little bit. Yeah, it says while in combat. Oh, there we go. That did it. Just put away the gun. That, that it. Yeah, never had that happen to me before. I had probably 100 hours or so in this fucking game. Never once had that happen to me. All right. Crack open this cockpit, get a helmet, and then that's it for this quest currently. Like I said, that memory trigger uh, will be the... Fuck. I just said their names. It's Vetra. The Turian survivors. All right, so where's the loadout? There it is. Uh, squad, we'll keep Joel because of the planet we're on. And we'll get Vetra out here. Hey, Vetra, ready to go meet some Turians? Or some spiky aliens, as the Angarans like to call them? Which, I mean, is fair. Make sure not to eat anything here. Or let any sap stick on your skin. Wasn't planning on it. Covering up. There we go. Get the big gun out. Render bolt. Man, they make a lot of noise when they disintegrate. See, now those things and the fiends are, as far as I'm aware, the same fucking thing. But for some reason, the ones on here, and I know they're the same thing, because you can get the Elrock, which is what that, Anoch, Elrock, whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, fluid sacks, which is a crafty material. You can get them from dead fiends. So like, I don't, I don't know why they're considered different, but they are. Now I think, yeah. Heads up, Rokar and Turians. Those are Natanas uniforms, Pathfinder. The Turian arc. Yep. That's right, if you don't mind.
Oh, I get that out there. I really gotta learn to start deploying that sooner, you know? Yeah, there you go. God, that turret does a lot of fucking damage. Excellent shot. Thank you. I thought it was all right. Oh. just got bigger. That's fine though, because my turret is actually in a rather good place for this. Dead. And then Vetro went crazy again. Alright. So yeah, this here is like the first survivors from the Turian arc that you'll come across, probably. I mean, I... It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know exactly how the quest can advance differently. Because like, while I did play this game twice, I didn't really make it all that far the first time I played it, you know? It was just one of those things where it was like, hey, um, like the first time I played it was just like, well, the first time I played it. Uh, another attack by those things, the aliens can't go two days without an ambush. And if it's not them, it's the damn plants poisoning us or destroying whatever equipment we can scavenge. Keep wondering about the other arcs. Maybe they uh, fared better and are mounting a rescue. Just hope it's not the humans. Arrogant bastards would never let us forget it. <laughs> yeah, so Turians and humans don't have the best of relations. Uh, because the Turians were the first uh, race to come across the humans and they immediately started to kill each other. As, you know, is, I mean, both races nature. I mean, Turians are a very warlike race, just like the humans are. Um, so, you know, shockingly enough, when two races that have spent their lives, well, I mean, I was going to say spent their lives figuring out new ways to kill each other. I mean, the Krogans definitely are like the end of that line because like that's literally what they did is they just bombed their own planet to shit all right shot to the gut painful I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is trying. Scott Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre, special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Natanis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. The settlers here need your help. I'm a stopgap. Mason is the solution. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. Uh, yeah, you can't really take him with you anyway, but it's just like, yeah, you shouldn't. Alright, uh, there's something wrong with this planet. Plants sprout up behind you, the trees whisper, and I swear something other than those aliens is watching us. Thanks, spirits, for the specter. If we survive, it's because of Avidus. Hey, Drusa. I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. 
Anything from the crash belongs to the initiative. It'll go back to the Nexus with you. Good. No telling what's still intact. Don't want hostile aliens using it against us. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how much of that shit there is here. Also keep he like hearing noise like there's something else. Oh, it was probably this maybe. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Oh, I think I saw another data pad. A uh, new entry. Found more Natanis survivors today along with some not so lucky. Still can't believe the sturdiness of those pods. I remember Mason rambling about the ingenuity of their engineering, but he's always excitable when it comes to those things. Now I wish I'd pay more attention. Learn the ins and outs of the pod's design. Tore one apart trying to make a communicator, but it's all wires to me. Mason wouldn't know what to do. How to help these people survive. I can point a gun and keep them safe, but that's it. They need him for a real leader. For a real leadership? I, that's... Okay. And so do I. I mean, close. It's, it's almost English. And I realize that they're Turians, but, you know, the people writing it aren't... Or like writing these down in the game aren't oh my god look at how much shit there is all right so some of that shit is obviously down in the hole other shit is not so we'll run around and tag those that will probably take us the rest of this part in all honesty uh there we go as long as i can find the exit all right yeah the nightmare is almost over okay i don't i mean i'm no oh fuck was that anyway i'm reasonably certain that um all of this like all these guys do end up going back to the nexus like we do end up taking them off this planet i just don't remember exactly when mainly because like you come here you do this quest they leave so like you never have a reason to go back there but like i also never went back there to see if they had actually left at any point so like, for all I know, those guys end up staying there forever. But, you know, once again, that seems unlikely. Ow, 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 ow. Good Christ. Fucking hell. They lit me up like a motherfucker. Oof. Ark Natalis Debris. Tacked for salvage. Like, holy shit. As soon as I enter the range, I will definitely have to make an attempt to make some actual armor here, apparently. <laughs> My, uh, uh, me wanting to uh, just continue Arc. to get more and more experience the isn't debris. really for salvage. helping here. Come on, up we go, up we go. Maybe another reason why I like this planet is because, like, there's less... It's more straightforward because there's no, because it's so much smaller than like Eos and Bold in them. Uh, debris, tacked for salvage. There's significantly less of like, like those random encounters, I guess. Like there's a few, but they're just basically battles. Um, there isn't like any random areas to explore or whatnot. Like pretty much what you find on the map is or like what Arc you see the on the map is what you got salvage all right that one go one over here get this one get this one see how this is one of those things right where like these guys like these turians right like their first contact was with the angarans it seems but it was with the rokar which Arc are the, the angarans that hate aliens Three. Tacked for salvage. Which, once again, based on their, uh, like, uh, rider there says when you first talk to them about, you know, hating aliens, it's like, well, I mean, the first aliens you met were the cat. And the cat are, like, major league douchebags. You actually find out just how big of a fucking assholes they were later. Oh, I thought I saw something, like, really big over there, but nope. here now i i'm trying to remember how involved 
the uh, the vault is on this world. Because like the, in this world here, the vault is still active, but it's just like uh, there's something that's off about it. And I remember there being a quest that you have to do where you have to like go and find like this Off specific guy debris. or some shit. Tact and I think that that's part of it. Where like uh, you can get to two of the three uh, pylons, like those things, right? But then there's one pylon missing that you don't know where it is or how to get to it. So you have to like... You have to find this other Angaran guy who's like ancestor or something and you have to go through. You basically pull an Assassin's Creed um, without the animus and like he has to go through like the genetic memories of his ancestor in order to uh, Let's deal with this. in order to lead us to the uh, the last pylon. Uh, because like the Angarans, because of the way they're built, they like their memories. Uh, they they believe in reincarnation, basically, right? Like that's the main thing. It's like they hey they bots try to push us off the edge. I'll be mad. But yeah, like the main thing is hey they believe in reincarnation, and then like there's a whole quest that basically proves that uh, whether or not reincarnation is possible for everyone, the Angarans 100% do have some form of. Uh, genetic memory at minimum. Whether or not it's true reincarnation, don't know, but they definitely have genetic memories. Ark Natalis debris, tagged for salvage. Alright. So, yeah, I want to say, like, uh, that other area we were at, I think, was one of the pylons, but I'm not sure. Uh, then the one that the guy leads us to leads us through a whole cave system in that. Because, like, his ancestor knew how to reset the pylon and it went and got two of them turned on but never made it to the third one or something man it's weird how little these things care like they're not really turning hostile very quickly Considering I'm not fucking killing them all that quickly, you know? Reloading. Oh, that did it. Now they might be coming for me. There's a lot of red dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I see a lot more red, but that may have be bugs now. So that was quite a few. That was a lot of observers. Like usually, there's only like a couple observers and a bunch of assemblers. Although I will say, for something called an assembler, oh, Rokar, eh? Enemies. They uh, they don't really assemble all that much. Oh no, didn't want down there. Yeah, he is. And you stick your head out of one side of that. You happy now? Now you got hurt. Now what you gonna do? Oh. Well, thanks for sticking your head out. Would have been nice if you had done that earlier. But, you know. Can't complain. Got the end result is what I wanted. I can be patient. Get what I would like. Generally, just the bad guy's dead. One more red dot. But there's no telling. I don't know what the range on that on that compass is to like detect enemies, you know? Alright. See so 
You know, I think there's even a quest later on that you do. <clears throat> that, uh... We've got targets. Where you attempt to, like, negotiate with the Rokar. And I want to say that that might take place on this planet as well. Just because, like, they have that whole base over there. And I want to say that it's one of those things where, because they need a reason for, like, like, you can, I think, fuck it up so that, like, you know, negotiations break down or whatever. Um, but I think even if you do it successfully, since they technically still need a reason to have these enemies, uh, because otherwise it would make no sense to Watch have, out. like, you know, they have you fighting different types of enemies, right? So, and guards, different type of enemies. Um... So they need you to have a reason to be fighting the Angar or the Rokar, right? So even if you successfully negotiate with them, they still have like the, uh, they go with the good old, ah, uh, I mean, yeah, you've negotiated with us, but I mean, not all of them are action agreed. Good. Tell our salvage teams to get busy removing them. All right. Those remains. Now we do have this door here. Can I open this door yet? I can't. Bob. You got anything? Nope. I don't know what this area is. It doesn't look like it show like it's a log, because it's not really on the map. Mushrooms that I've already scanned. They warn me not to get any on myself. Uh, there might be a quest involving this place later. But for now, uh, let's see how long we've been going. Ah, that's close enough to the half hour mark for me. Uh, so, yeah, next part we'll pop in, we'll pop back here. Our viability is only at 14%. Uh, but I guess doing the, uh, there's usually like two main quests on a planet that'll like fucking jump your viability up by like a huge margin. Um, but yeah, we'll pop back here and, uh, talk to this guy at the beginning of the next part. And then we'll probably get sent all over the place for miscellaneous reasons before we can actually fix the vault. But anyway, hopefully we can get to the part where we have the vault open or we're going to the vault next part and then in the or on saturday's part we can actually go into the vault and that can be that part but anyway thanks everybody for watching and i will see you on thursday for more